the Murphy bed frame is now clad in panels that are ready for finishing. So you have here the crown that opens up. It's just supported right now with a stick. And then the two false drawers and the two false doors in the front made to look like an armoire. These are the legs that uh, came with the hinges and they are now extended. And the side doors, the side styles actually fold over to clear way for the platform bed. And I'll be adding a pin that drops from this leg when it um, is brought up from the frame in the closed position and then drops down into the set position that that uh, peg will drop in and hold the side style open and underneath the bed. Same of course over on this side that's all marked and the only other things going on, I've got the uh, kind of false feet that are part of the base, and then these removable pieces of trim that cover up how the sides are attached. With the side doors removed, it's a little bit easier now to see how the panels are attached. So they're simply attached with blocks along the, mounted along the frame. So screwed in from behind to hold them securely in place. And the inspiration for this was a photo found online um, of an antique cabinet. What I liked about this is one, the uh, drawer along the bottom uh, kind of resembled that first piece constructed uh, to get the frame operating. And then the very wide side styles um, can be hinged and fold in on top of the door to create some space uh, along the side so that a fairly sleek bed frame uh, could be pulled out of this cabinet without having to pull that uh, additional element on the, uh, on the side uh, down with the bed. Here are each of the panels that I've made for the Murphy bed out in the patio workshop staged for painting. So over here you have the two sides made from reclaimed beadboard <clears throat> and then two side styles uh, that are hinged um, to make up the face of the cabinet and get out of the way when the bed opens up. And then over here <clears throat> you have uh, the two false doors and uh, some elements that go along the side, some various trim pieces, the knobs that go on the uh, faux drawers here, and then the crown uh, that opens up in order to allow the bed to unfold. So these are ready to go. They'll be uh, now primed and painted before being reinstalled. Here are the panels that I constructed for phase two of the Murphy bed project. They're designed to attach to the bed frame and then to look like a, a painted beadboard cabinet. These are all designed to be easily attached and then removed in the future uh, from the bed frame. So the doors and side styles hang on the Murphy bed frame the sides uh, are attached down here uh, at the bottom.
to the element that holds the hinge and then secured up top to this bracket that's just on a removable uh, piece of framing, uh, but accommodates a couple of screws to really tighten up uh, the sides. And then on the left, you see the uh, crown in the middle. You see the uh, drawers. This uh, pair of drawers was made from a single poplar board, a one by 12. There's a cut uh, in the center to help uh, create the appearance of two drawers, but this is a single board with three trim pieces added and four knobs added. And that uh, attaches right along the uh, bottom of the bed frame. So that was easy to put together. The um, crown was built from um, uh, poplar boards to create the frame and the structure, uh, but then capped off with um, beadboard plywood. So it's mounted uh, face down. The smooth side of the plywood is on the top. The beadboard is inside. And then there's a bit of uh, crown molding wrapping this. Uh, this little door that you see here is to provide access to the thermostat, which is the one thing in the way of this uh, project. And then um, the approach for attaching everything, you'll see over here on the left-hand side, there's this uh, foot and that will go right up alongside And I've painted that black behind, so it uh, creates a shadow line. And then uh, that's simply screwed in from the back. So again, easily removable in the future. Here's a little test piece that I use just to test this concept of uh, attaching the trim from the backside of the plywood side panel. So that works very well. And what it enables me to do is when I have attached the side panel and I've got a couple of uh, bolts that attach it on the bottom, a couple of screws up top, and then some of the uh, trim that wraps around actually covers up uh, those bolts that attach the side panel. So again, very easy to um, remove this in the future. All of these panels, you can see, are relatively small. These are the two long ones, uh, the crown and the uh, drawers. They're seven feet long, but pretty skinny, 16 inches for the crown and uh, about 11 inches for the drawer uh, unit. So I can get them up and down the stairs easily. I was able to get these pieces into the car to bring the lumber back uh, so I took a single uh, piece of beadboard plywood, which is uh, four feet by eight feet, and cut a strip from that for the top. And then I had another wider strip that I used to make these uh, doors uh, cut in half. So it was a pretty efficient use of that plywood and much cheaper to use plywood than uh, actual beadboard in the construction of the panels. The panels on the side are actual beadboard that I was able to get uh, reclaimed from a uh, charity here that recycles building uh, products. And then the same with the uh, crown molding. It was only 30 cents a foot instead of $3 a foot. Uh, to get that nice crown molding. It's mahogany uh, and fit very well in this application. So with that, I'm now ready to attach uh, these panels and create the uh, cabinet around the Murphy bed.